I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Linear Law. I am very thankful to all my viewers and subscribers who like my video and are asking for more. Now here we will look into more details how we can work with nonlinear equations and convert them into a form capital Y equals to M capital X plus C and also plot them on uh, with a straight line. Now, it should be very clear in your mind that any nonlinear equation could be written in a couple of ways and so we could have different values of capital Y and different X, values of X. Accordingly, we could actually create different types of nonlinear uh, graphs for these nonlinear functions, right? So we have this equation AX plus BY equals to XY the idea here is to convert this to the form capital Y equals to M X plus C. Now once we do it, we could actually plot it on a graph. So the idea is to get a linear graph and uh, we could plot it on a graph. Uh, so let me just, uh, we'll make two different forms and we'll make two different graphs. Now in a graph, we'll get a line. If we place this capital Y here and this capital X here. Now, these are different from the line lowercase y equals to mx plus b, right? Now, when we are converting this to the linear form, we are trying to find the value of these uh, capital X and Y that decide what is going to go on the vertical and the horizontal axis. Key, of course, is to have some value of constant C, which represents the y-intercept for these graphs, right? So let's work with this equation, which is ax plus by equals to xy. Now, to convert that into this form, very easy could be if I just divide by, let us say, x, right? I forgot to write plus here. If I just divide by x, I could write this equation with y and x over y, correct? You get an idea. So let me just divide by x. So what we get here is ax over x plus by over x plus equals to xy over x. That is what I'm trying to do, right? So these x's cancel. And what I get here is a plus b y over x equal to lowercase y right so these are lowercase x and y so i could always rearrange this and write it in the form of y equals to minus okay y equals to capital b y over x plus a so i just wrote it the other way anyway so what you find here is that I could replace this capital Y with lowercase y. So if you compare what we just got here is that this Y represents the capital Y. So this axis becomes lowercase y. Perfect. And on that axis, we get Y over X. So this is equal to Y over X. Now, if that is the case, we'll get a line depending on the value of A and B. Correct. So for different values of A and B, we'll get different lines. That's the whole idea. Now as an exercise, what we will do here is that we'll just take a line here, right? And uh, we can have uh, uh, points on the line to find the value of A and B, okay? So I'll place this point which I have done in the example which we took. And this point I took as uh, we can take any point actually. Let's say two and six is the point for us, right? So I'm just placing one point. I'll form a second equation for the given ax plus by equals to xy and then draw another graph. And I'll leave this part as an exercise for you. Okay, now what I could also do here is divide by y, right? So, so we again start with the same equation ax plus by equals to xy. If I divide by y this time, so I get a x over y plus b equals to x, correct? Well, so if you look into this equation, capital Y could be small x, right? So I could write this as equal to small x. And on this side, I could write x over y. 
you get an idea right so that is how we could actually get second form right so this is also in the form of y equals to mx plus b so i could rewrite this as x equals to a x over y plus b in this case you'll see the gradient is what so in this case gradient is equal to a and the intercept on x axis this axis so intercept x is is capital b right so that is your capital b perfect so so that is how you could get two different forms of the same equation the question which we solved was something like this so here also we give you a line and we give you a point on this line let's say this point is 111 now if i give you these two points we actually have two different equations with same unknowns capital a and capital b i like you to solve for the values of a and b using the given points so that is the question for you right so so find parameters find constant a and b in the given situation correct so that will be a good exercise so i hope you understand and appreciate how a nonlinear equation which we began with ax plus by equals to xy could be written in two different forms okay so let me highlight both the forms one of them is here and the other one is here based on these forms we could get a linear graph if i take lowercase y on the y axis vertical axis and the ratio y over x on the horizontal axis now if i use the alternate form of this equation after linearization taking x on the vertical axis and x over y on the horizontal axis we could again get a graph and knowing the points on the graph we could get the values of a or if you know the values of a and b we could plot the graph either way it could be done i hope it makes sense correct we'll take a few more examples in this regard for you to practice i hope that helps thanks for watching and all the best